Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a hair care routine video for you. You guys have been requesting an updated video just talking all about my hair, hair dye, the keratin treatment, all the products that I use. If you watch any of my old, old videos, you know that my hair was super long and black and thick and healthy. And then I decided to do a balayage and I had my hair bleached twice. I had it toned. And I just wasn't happy with how I was looking. I was looking really dead and dry. And I just didn't like how I looked with the blondes on the tips. It just didn't suit my face. And so I decided to go back to black. I get this question a lot. What hair dye do I use? I use the Clairol Nice and Easy Jet Black. I use the non-foam. So the original type of hair dye. The one that you mix. I'm pretty sure it's a permanent hair dye. It lasts really long. The only time that I have to dye my hair is really when my roots are growing out. My natural hair color is a dark like reddish brown or when some of these pieces down here start turning a little bit blonde like a brownie blonde because so much bleach was applied there. So I use Clairol Nice and Easy Blue Black on my hair to get this color and I do it at home really simple I just follow the instructions apply it to my hair wait 30 minutes and I like my hair super dark I feel like it just suits my face another question I get a lot is about the keratin treatment so I actually had two keratin treatments done in October late October so the first one that I did it was supposed to be like a natural alternative to the keratin and it wasn't supposed to damage your hair but what happened was I got the opposite results of what a keratin is supposed to do. It's supposed to leave your hair silky and soft, but it left my hair looking frizzy, fried, dry, and my hair texture was just really, really not the same. So I ended up going to someone else, and I'll leave her information down below. When I did it the second time around, my hair was fine. I went on vacation. My hair was drying nice and sleek and smooth. There's a lot of controversy with the Brazilian keratin. Some people say it repairs your hair, some people say it damages your hair. I don't think it's that good for your hair honestly because it is a chemical treatment but I feel like when I have the keratin in my hair I apply less heat and so I'm getting less damage in that way but you are chemically processing your hair. I know it's a little tricky but I am actually going to get another keratin this weekend just because the last time I got it done was in October and it's already been a couple of months you're supposed to get it I think every three or six months and basically it's supposed to just eliminate frizz and I have really frizzy hair naturally it used to be straight with a little bit of a wave but because I processed it and did all this crazy things to it it does dry really frizzy especially if I comb it and let it air dry it gets really poofy and it just looks really dry so I am gonna get a keratin on Saturday I probably will vlog that process I cut my hair off, yes, I cut it off when I had the blonde because it was just breaking off and so I cut a lot off of my hair, I cut it up to my shoulders and I had like really really short layers like up to my ears and it was still dyed blonde and then I dyed it black and so I had short hair and I hated it so I was just like really really desperate to find something to make my hair grow. Now, while I was doing a seminar in Upper Manhattan, I was able to meet with the owner of Vita Hair Growth. Now, I know the owner's daughter, Kiana. Basically, they introduced me to Vita Hair Growth. Now, this is not sponsored at all. I seriously am a diehard customer now of Vita. Like, I went through the whole shampoo and conditioner, and honestly, I feel like this is what made my hair grow. You guys were like, what the hell are you doing? Like, why is your hair growing so fast? And it was totally this because I isolated just these products and I stopped doing other things and my hair was growing rapidly fast. Now, my hair grows pretty fast naturally, but once I dyed it with the balayage and the bleach, it just stopped growing. Like, it was shoulder length for so long and I was just struggling. I was like, why isn't my hair growing? Once I dyed it black, it started growing a little bit faster, but... This definitely sped up the process, so this is an all-natural shampoo and conditioner, and I swear this is like magic. It says that the ingredients are onions, fruit of ragoon, molasses, carrot, ginseng, bamboo, etc. in the shampoo, and then in the conditioner, aloe, angelica, leaves, root, ginseng, fruit, rangoon, and secret plants. This changed the hair game for me for sure. Not only was my hair growing faster, but I noticed the texture of my hair was just a lot softer and silkier, it was shinier. Now again, I had bleached my hair twice, I toned it, I was doing all this crazy stuff and it was breaking off and falling off in chunks. And now my hair looks really healthy. Now I recently cut it to more of a blunt cut because I had a V-cut layered cut 
and I felt like it just was making my hair look really thin and I feel like with this my hair just looks a lot thicker and healthier and it just feels a lot thicker like it feels like I actually have hair when I had the V cut it looked pretty when I had it blown out but when I straightened it it just looked like a tail it looked really limp and then in the front I would have these short little pieces and in the back it was like a long tail so I wasn't really feeling that so for now I'm just gonna rock the blunt cut until it grows out and then I'll get long layers it's a little bit harder to do like the flips and the curls and like wearing extensions can be a little tricky when you have your hair all one length but I feel like my hair just grows faster and better when I have it one length and also I can see the growth so I'm actually gonna go and purchase some more Vita Probably this week I need it like I've been saving these bottles just to show you guys and it's in upper Manhattan I'll leave all the information down below. I actually texted Kiana Asking her if I could get you guys a coupon code because they're not expensive, but they're not super cheap I mean you pay for what you get so I think the price is worth it as it is You know if it's gonna make your hair healthy and grow it is worth every single penny in my eyes but I just wanted to get you guys a coupon code just in case you guys did want to get like a bundle or a package, um, they sell shampoo, conditioner, hair masks, and um, like leave-in tonics, which this is also like crack for your hair. This, you put this in your on your roots and I swear you'll see growth in like two weeks. It's insane. You have to be consistent with all of this though. You can't just use it once and expect, you know, for your hair to be super long. Like you have to be consistent. Um, this one I haven't gone through as much. Because I only use a little bit on my roots um, when my hair is damp and then I let it dry or I go get it done or I do it myself. So they do sell like packages and so I asked her if I could get a coupon code and she said yes. So the coupon code is Rosita and I don't make any commission off of that. I just really wanted to help you guys out. Hair is so important. You know when you have healthy hair you just feel more confident and when your hair is growing and it just looks really healthy. Even if you like short hair, healthy hair is the best hair. So this is the shampoo and conditioner that I was using for a really Really long time obviously until I ran out I haven't repurchased and I cannot wait to repurchase I do switch my shampoo and conditioner pretty much every time I wash my hair I try to use something different just to kind of shock my hair and to not let it get used to a specific brand or specific type of shampoo and conditioner but the one that I really love mainly because of the scent is the way shampoo and conditioner this is the repair line this stuff smells like flowers and it definitely does leave my hair nice and soft but most of the times what I'll do is I'll just use shampoo Shampoo, and then I use a deep conditioner instead of a conditioner my hair gets extremely oily but I just deal with it like I try not to wash it every single day because I know that's really bad for your hair it like strips the oils when I leave my hair dirty for a longer period of time I feel like my hair grows faster so I try to leave my hair two three days and then I wash it so I'll wash my hair when it gets really really oily which is pretty much like three times a week and so this is probably my all-time favorite mask. Now, if you go to my shower, you're going to see like 10 hair masks. I am obsessed with hair masks. I feel like this is the reason why my hair also grows. I know it's not good to like over hydrate or over do it with the masks, but I make sure that I'm not using like a protein mask. If I'm going to be using it so frequently, I'll do something like this one. This is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This is hair crack. I feel like a lot of people have talked about this. I seriously like wiped this clean. I've gone through so many of these. You can go to any of my older hair care videos and this mask is in it. I used to get this at Ulta but the last time I was there I didn't see it. But I will leave a link down below for this. I swear by this mask. But I also really love the L'Oreal Sulfate Free Oleotherapy Deep Recovery Mask. Now I love any of the L'Oreal masks. They smell really good and they leave my hair really soft. So this one and the Macadamia, these are like my go-to masks. I have hair masks from every single brand, high-end, low-end. I've spent $40 on a mask, $10 on a mask, and these are my go-to, my ultimate favorite. So I definitely need to go and buy a new one of this because it's really, really good. And this one is amazing too, and you can find it at the drugstore. I think even like Dwayne Reed or Rite Aid carries the Macadamia, if I'm not mistaken, but I've heard that it's good to buy it from like a salon or like a reputable source. But that Macadamia is bomb. Next up, I wanted to mention these two shampoos. This one's the Redken Scalp Relief Dandruff Control, and this is the Hair Cleansing Cream. So the Dandruff Control is just the shampoo that I use when I have dandruff, which can happen when you get a keratin treatment because 
your scalp is like shedding because it's too much protein or too much keratin on your scalp and so I had to buy a dandruff control shampoo and I tried like Salsa Blue and I tried all these other ones but I feel like this one was nice because it didn't strip my hair and you only need a little bit so this is going to last me a really long time so if you suffer from dandruff try this one out I got it at Ulta and then this one is the Redken Hair Cleansing Cream. So this is a clarifying shampoo. Clarifying shampoos are so important, especially if you use product on your hair. You basically are getting buildup of all the products and the heat styling tools and all of this stuff is building up, all of this gunk is building up on your scalp and in your hair and it's not clean and you can use a regular shampoo and it's not going to really deep clean your hair. I treat my clarifying shampoos like pore strips, you know, I do it like once a week or whenever I feel like I'm having a lot of build up in my hair and in my scalp and it's getting super duper oily and nothing is helping, I go ahead and use the clarifying shampoo. Neutrogena makes a really good one from the drugstore. These are kind of pricey, they're from Redken but I really like them. I feel like like they aren't damaging to my hair now let's talk about hair products so when my hair is damp I love to use oils and sprays that make my hair soft now most of the times I blow dry my hair but I don't actually like round brush it like I'll use the brush but I don't actually go in and take the time to really blow it out nicely so I feel like I use the products to kind of do the work for me because I just hate blow drying my hair. I will talk about the hair dryer and the straightener that I use in a few minutes, but this has been in my life for so long. This is the Canva Blow Dry Spray. I have the huge bottle, I have this one, I have the medium bottle. This is my favorite thermal heat protectant and it just makes my hair so soft. Canva products smell amazing and they work really, really well. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite product from the Canva line. I swear I've been using this for so long and I've repurchase this time and time again it's worth it to just get the big bottle trust me on this one if you have frizzy hair if you straighten your hair blow dry your hair this cuts the time in half this increases shine and it's just an amazing product and heat protected you need heat protected if you're using a blow dryer but I feel like I use this mainly because it makes my hair so soft and I forget that it's a heat protectant and I'll go ahead and blow dry my hair and I'm like oh I didn't use the thermal protector but I did because it's this one so blow dry spray is amazing and then I use oils a lot on my hair especially on my ends where I have the most breakage and the most damage and like the split ends this one is from Way, and it's the hair oil it smells really good and this really smooths out my frizzy Ness in the hair but it doesn't weigh my hair down now I have a lot of hair but it's thin fine hair I know that sounds kind of crazy but I always thought I had a little bit of hair but every time I go to the hair salon they're like no you have so much hair and I'm like really because I feel like I have two hairs on my head I have to use products that aren't going to weigh my hair down because especially when doing like the keratin treatment and you're going to have straight hair you don't want to make it look greasy like you still want it to look a little alive so this one is bomb and I've been really enjoying that and I use it pretty much every time I do my hair in my house like when I do my own hair this one is a newer product for me but I love it this is the Alterna Bamboo Luminous Shine Mist and this is an amazing hair shine spray now dark hair naturally kind of has a shine already unless it's super damaged but I like to give my hair an extra boost of shine I mean why not so this one really makes makes my hair look glossy and it just reflects a lot of light and it makes my hair look really healthy even if it's not. I also use the Alterna Rapid Repair Spray. So this is an instant shine and moisture. So these are both from Alterna. I got them both at Sephora. The Rapid Repair Spray actually makes my hair look healthy where this one makes my hair look healthy but in a shiny way I feel like this one I use more for shine I use this one when my hair is dry or wet because I feel like it mends the hair and makes it look or makes it appear like it's healthy and then this one I just use when my hair is dry just for an added boost of shine and I don't spray this like directly on my roots I kind of just spray it you know in the body of the hair I love that these don't weigh down my hair they don't feel super greasy and they are paraben and sulfate free which is awesome so those are the shine sprays that I use and then if my hair is feeling extra parched and dehydrated like the ends are just looking crazy I use the Moroccan oil treatment I got this one when I had lighter hair but this is alcohol free which is really important oils are just so good for our hair 
and if you want it to grow you need to hydrate it so this is awesome you only need the littlest amount it smells like cologne it smells so good I love all of the Moroccan oil products because of their scent they make a great dry shampoo the one for dark hair is awesome and they just make great products and I really love them so this is just a little one and this will last you so long I think I spilled this one because you need like the teeniest tiniest amount and you just put it on your ends especially when it's wet and it dries really really nice so Moroccan oil is bomb now I want to talk about some products that I use kind of like to style my hair this is the dry bar triple sec and this is a texturizing volumizing and refreshing spray I know a lot of people rave about this on YouTube and I've had this little bottle for a really long time I use this kind of like a volumizing texturizing spray some people use it as a dry shampoo but I feel like it's not really a dry shampoo it just gives me some volume I'll spray my roots kind of let it sit there dry bar products have a very distinct smell it smells good it's not my favorite but it smells good and then I just kind of rub it in and instantly you just have so much more volume in that spot and then you can just kind of play around with it if you wear your hair straight I feel like you definitely need this because it's not gonna give you like a crunchy feel it just gives you volume where you want it I feel like a lot of texturizing sprays are like wave sprays and not all of us want waves like I just want volume and texture but sometimes I don't want to use a dry shampoo like if my hair is clean I don't want to use dry shampoo so I use this this does also absorb oils but I just mainly use it for volume and then another product that I fell in love with is the Jack Black sleek finish texture cream so I originally bought one of these for Noe for his hair and he now is obsessed with this he basically uses it every single time he does his hair and so one day I was doing a ponytail and I was like oh I don't want to use gel I wanted to use something more creamy and so I used this and my flyaways were all tamed and it didn't look too glossy it didn't look hard it didn't feel hard it didn't feel sticky like it just tamed my little flyaways now I have tons of like little hairs up here I decided to cut any hairs that were broken up at the top of my head one day I don't know why that was the dumbest mistake ever so now they're growing out and so I always have like this static some of it is breakage and some of it is from me cutting the past breakage off so I feel like I need this at all times because I always have those crazy hairs standing up so I use a little tiny amount of this and just smooth it out I don't use too much when my hair is straight down because then it just you know will weigh it down a little so I also love this for when I wear my hair in a ponytail or any kind of updo or braid or something like that it's amazing guys and girls can use it if your boyfriend or your husband or you're looking for something that's not too waxy and not too gel like and you don't want to use a mousse definitely get this one and I had to get it online at Sephora it's a sleek finish texture cream and this is a brand new one to help the growth process I also took sugar bear hair hair vitamins sugar bear hair was actually one of the sponsors for the VU beauty seminar that Angie and I hosted they sent two extra bottles so I took one and Angie took one and these are vegetarian gummies which is really important because I have to take vegetarian gummies because non vegetarian gummies make me feel really sick and nauseous not just because I'm vegetarian like forever I've always had to take vegetarian supplements or pills or anything like that vitamins so I like that and they taste amazing they taste like candy and I feel like it worked I feel like I'd have to get another bottle like two bottles at the same time and take them consistently every single day through the two bottles to actually see a big difference but this might have helped with my hair growth process I just wanted to throw it in there because they taste really good and I'm the type of person that I don't really like taking regular vitamins or pills if I just wanted something like fresh in my mouth I would pop two of these and it's just like yummy <laughs> this has 5,000 mcg of biotin which I know is kind of low compared to the other biotin pills but be careful when taking biotin. If you're not drinking enough water and you're taking biotin pills, your hair will grow, but you're also going to break out like crazy. Your nails are going to grow, yes, but you can break out. So be very careful when drinking vitamins or supplements. You have to drink a lot of water to flush everything out so you don't break out on your face. So this has biotin, folic acid, and vitamin C, which is all great for hair growth. So I just wanted to throw that in there because I did go through the full bottle of that. And then my two favorite hairsprays, the Kenra Volume Spray and the L'Oreal Elnitz Unscented Extra Strong Hold. 
pretty basic. I use these as my hairspray. I like to hairspray the little bangs up here at the front so that they're not on my face getting oily and I'm not touching it. So I like to kind of spray it away from my face so that the style can stay and so I don't touch my hair as much. So these two are OG products for me. I mean, they're just the best hairsprays that I've ever tried. And they are kind of pricey, but they are very much worth it. This one you can find at the drugstore. And L'Oreal Elnit is just, it's just an OG hairspray. I feel like everyone knows about it. And if you don't know about it, you got to get on it. So these two are my hairsprays. I use a Tangle Teaser as my comb. This is really important because I feel like it doesn't break my hair off. It's really soft on my hair and it gets all the tangles out. My hair doesn't really get that tangled, but if you have super curly, tangly hair, get a Tangle Teaser. It will change your life. And this is kind of silly to include, but I figured I would mention it. These are the Sephora Duck Clips. When I'm straightening my hair or blow drying my hair, I don't like using a hair tie because my hair, I feel like you can see the fold of the hair tie really easily because it is black. So I like these because they don't cause a dent and they really hold my hair like these are the best duck clips that I've ever found I've tried a few and these are just the best they have great reviews on Sephora and I've purchased tons of packs of these because I lose them all the time but they hold hair really well definitely get these because it makes straightening hair and parting hair a lot easier so you only need one or two and the hair is really really held nicely so random but I figured I would mention it now I'm really bad when it comes to blow drying my hair. That's why most of the times I just go to the Dominican salon to get my hair blown out because I just, I'm so lazy to do my hair and I just can never get the movements right. This is the T3 Featherweight Luxe 2i, long name. And I love this because it's really light and when I'm blow drying my hair I feel like I stop most of the times because the blow dryer is either too heavy or just it's not the right fit or the right size. So this has three heat settings and two speed settings and you do get the cool button which is really nice after you finish blow drying your hair you blow your hair with cool and it minimizes frizz but I feel like this blow dryer in general helps me with my frizz and it just helps me blow dry my hair really fast. I don't like to be bothered with actually like round brushing it and getting my ends to look nice because most of the times I'm gonna straighten it when I don't feel like air drying my hair I use a blow dryer and this one I feel like isn't damaging to my hair it does also come with a round brush which is nice they do have an awesome sale slash deal right now so I will leave a link down below to this Speaking of T3, I use their single pass straightener as well. I bought this at Sephora. Mine is pretty dirty. I have to clean it because it has some product buildup on there. I love this straightener. It leaves my hair really soft and silky and I've had no complaints with it. I do keep it on the hottest setting but you do have, you know, a little adjuster and just an on off button. I love that the on and off button is on the inside. I hate when the straighteners have the on off button on the outside it just makes no sense because when you're straightening your hair you're pressing the buttons turning it off and it's just pointless you're basically straightening your hair and you're like hmm my hair is taking extra long to straighten and it's because it's off little things like that make a difference and you can curl your hair with this because it does have like the rounded edges but I normally don't curl my hair with a straightener so I use this to straighten my hair I get that question a lot what straightener do I use and it's this one from T3 I will also leave it down below in the description bar I have a huge cubby full of hair products my shower is full of hair products I'm just that sucker that always walks into Rite Aid and wants to buy every shampoo and every conditioner I just love these products because I know they work don't get me wrong I do use other products but these are my go-to's like if I run out I have to go out and repurchase because I love them that much if you guys have any other questions about the keratin treatment I know I'm gonna get the question like does it damage your hair honestly I'm not an expert to me it didn't really damage my hair my hair did feel a little thinner but in the end I didn't have to use as much heat for the three months that I had it so it does wear off and depending on what keratin treatment you get I've heard if you have curly hair it can make it straight but then I've also heard that the Brazilian keratin is supposed to leave your hair curly and just diminish the frizz so I'm not a keratin expert I've gotten it done three times total in my whole life I am getting my keratin one week prior to going on vacation it's not recommended to do so because chlorine and the beach water but I don't really get in the beach water like the salt water and I get in the pool but normally I have my hair in a bun so I'm not too worried about that I will probably vlog so you guys can see the process it just basically looks like you're dyeing your hair and then you're just blow drying it and straightening it and leaving the product in I will leave links and discounts if I have any 
for all these hair care products. If you are growing your hair out too, we can be on this journey together because I can't wait for my hair to be long and luscious again and I can be able to curl it and it's gonna look long and I just can't wait. So that concludes my hair care routine. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and I will leave the giveaway winner down below in the description bar to my Urban Decay giveaway. I know you guys are waiting for that so that's in the description bar. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.